righty. I have what I'm going to start doing once a week right now. I'm going to start doing them on weekends is what we know um, and what we think we know, the speculative section. So this is going to be a series where I kind of talk about what we kind of know so far, um, what is still speculation, and what we're starting to think. So speculative rumblings is that this coaster is costing around $38 million, um, to around $50 million. Uh, this is going to be the park's biggest investment ever, and they're expecting kind of a larger draw than Yukon Striker brought in. Um, it'll be launching out of the top of the mountain. Um, whether that's out of the top of the mountain or through Tunnel 1, it's got to come out of one of those holes. And with Tunnel 1 kind of being paved over now, it's becoming a lot less likely that it's going to launch out of that tunnel. But we'll have to wait and see. So that's still under speculative, um, just because we can't figure out exactly where this thing's going to exit. Um, that will most likely have a big element over at Extreme Skyflyer. And this was part of a par the park changing plans on um, what they were going to build over uh, at Canada's Wonderland for 2025. So this brings us to what do we know? Well, with full confidence, I can tell you that this is not going to be a uh, mock B&M or Vacoma. We've, we've gotten a little more information over the last two days now. Um, and you're going to see at the end of this video an updated uh, percentage uh, to what manufacturer we think this is going to be. So we're down to Zamperla, Intamin, or Premier. This is, uh, again, not going to be a mock, not a B&M, and uh, not a Vacoma. Uh, it is an Elpin attraction. The station is in Elpin with the brake run and the first launch. The support sequences are 167 sets. The brake run is about 60 meters, and we know the threaded rod style. Um, if you're a Patreon, you know that to be true. And yeah, so uh, this is the footing map so far that we have. So as you can see, you can see the brake run, the station area, the first launch, and then the turn into Tunnel 3. It then brings you into the mountain, and this is where we don't know what it's going to do. Is it going to do some sort of smaller elements inside the mountain to bring it over to Tunnel 1 and then launch it out of Tunnel 1? Or is it going to somehow, I, again, this is where it gets really difficult, maneuver inside there and come outside the top of the mountain? So that's what we don't know. Um, we can confirm that it's going to go along the side of the mountain with the um, coaster's footing map. So it doesn't look like it enters underneath Guardian and that those radius markings were actually just for it to go around. Um, the yellow is the brake run, the orange is the station, and the green is the first little launch. Um, so this is clearly an LSM coaster of some sort, whether it ends up being Premier, Intamin, or Zamperla. It's going to be one of those manufacturers. Um, and yeah, so uh, the red highlighted areas are areas that uh, we think there's going to be some sort of element. There's signs of it, but we're not quite sure what it's going to do in those three specific areas. Um, and our manufacturer probability. So again, we will update all of this information every week with any information we learn that week. And at the end of the week, the weekend... We'll update you guys with everything that we know. So Intamin and Zamperla, as I've discussed many times, they share a similar probability um, with next to no Zamperla's custom Zamperla lightning coasters being built. We can't rule out Zamperla, even though um, with what we know, the threaded rod and um, some similar designs show Intamin. It could also mean Zamperla. Um, Zamperla shares a l exact same likelihood that Intamin does, especially with a lot of their projects mirroring Intamin designs and ex Intamin um, design people being on Zamperla's team. Premier is dropped, um, so we removed Vacoma from the list, and Premier has now dropped to just a 20% probability. Um, so I thought that was really interesting. At the end of the day, um, this is a win win. Uh, to be honest, full, full transparency, this is a win win, whether it's Intamin, Zamperla, or Premier. I actually think all of them would make really fantastic designs. I've had a lot of people reach out to me um, and kind of calm me down about the Premier rumor because Premier, with the length of track that we're seeing, would be really cool. So I want to hear from you guys. Comment down below. Do you think it's going to be Intamin? Do you think it's going to be Zamperla? Or do you think it's going to be Premier? Um, I'm telling you guys, we are getting very close to figuring out this manufacturer. Um, and like I said, even if I'm wrong, I will I will correct myself and I will post immediately when I find out um, the manufacturer. So we are getting very close. I will be transparent about that. Um, and I'm getting really excited because not only that, uh, construction is going to start uh, showing up. So there have been shipments that have been arriving. Um, Wonderland is being very secretive. There was a shipment that arrived yesterday that I got on the drone, um, but they had it completely covered in tarps and they lifted those crates 
covered in tarps off the back of the that massive semi truck. Um, so figuring out what's coming in those deliveries is not possible yet. Um, and yeah, so that's all I have for now. But again, stay tuned. I have a feeling we're gonna figure this thing out real quickly. I'm getting I'm getting a lot of that um, that pre kind of rumblings coming my way and uh just some photo evidence and all that so stay tuned uh <laughs> it is exciting again um and i'm really excited because this is where things are going to start ramping up construction's going to start um things are going to start arriving and we're going to start figuring out elements and wonderland's going to tease which is going to be really fun in itself um and yeah anyways thanks so much for enjoying these construction updates and yeah have a good one guys bye <laughs>